And welcome back, mga kaibigan, sa Big Dome, the Arena Napa Coliseum, dito pa sa gitna ng Quezon City as we take a look at our Quick Tide starting fire brought to you by Quick Tide, the all-in-one glue, technology by Loctite. Nothing new for both teams. They come up with their strongest five. In fact, itong Spirasa uh, Nila Ying, uh, the units nila have started for them in all of their games. As Aparientos takes this first shot. And that is going to be a very interesting matchup, uh, Ying. Yung Aparientos laban kay Jerome Hercito. Hercito is playing so well para sa mobile line. Although nagkaroon siya ang turnover doon. 14 points per bong game lang ina-average ni Jerome Hercito. Kanina nabanggit ko sa Ian, kasamang Noli. Ano? Magiging problema to actually para sa Alaska. No? In terms of height kasi, malaki agwat. Itong si Hercito at saka ni Johnny Aparientos. And uh, this, si Hercito can post up ano? and play with his back to the basket. Pero alam naman natin si Johnny Barrientos, eh, veteranong-veterano na to. No? So marami na siyang alam na pangontra so, sa ganyang mga post-up ni Jerome Herbert. Actually, ang problema ng Alaska, especially in their last game, has not been their offense but their defense. They gave huh? up 100 points. At sabi sa atin ng ating head statistician na si Fidel Mangonon, this is the most number of points. First time na nagbigay ang Alaska na mahigit isang daang punto to. 100 or more. In over a year, the last time that they did that was back in the All Filipino Conference, laban sa Tanguay. And so, kaya naman sinabun sila kagad ni Coach Tim Kuhn sa laban nila against Barangay Hinebra. Yes, that's very uncharacteristic para sa Alaska, yung magbigay sila ng maraming punto. Ayan na si Jahani, no? yung sinasabi natin kanina, Facing the basket, may advantage si Johnny against uh, Ejercito. But back to the basket, meron namang advantage si Ejercito over kay Johnny Amarillo. Magandang uh, tutukan niyan kung yan ang uh, magiging pwestuhan mamaya. Although si Ejercito ngayon ang tumatao kay Kenneth Duren. Pinag-uusapan natin si Louis Alas Well, he's on his first two-game winning round dito sa PPA And pwede ni si Louis Alas Slowly, parang nagigel niya itong mga kumpulan nyo to Na nailalagay na niya yung kanya mga system ano, At Tama. kapuna po na yan At saka importante rito is you throw out the talent ano, From your players Na importante-importante Dahil nila kailangan nilang pagtakpan Yung pagkawala ni Aki uh, Taulaba Mabuti na lang, Jerry Cotillera Big combo, stepping up Talk about stepping up. That's one man, Dibong Hawkins, who has certainly been very, very consistent para sa kumpanan ng Alaska, although he missed that last attempt. Here's Kenneth Durembes. He's a guy who's struggling. He's averaging only about 10 points a game. And there's a hand check foul up at Ejercito. That will be number two now on Ejercito. Again, malaki problema yan dahil uh, alam natin, ano, starting point guard nila, ito si Jerome Ejercito. He will have to cut his minutes if he's in foul trouble. There's Louis Alas. Dating head coach of Manila Metro Stars, just the NBA. And of course, a welcome addition to the PBA. Itong Alaska is going to the isolation place for the last three or four plays. Ngayon, very successful sila doon with Kenneth Merendez. Parang nakatali na ang kapay ni Jerome Ejercito with two personal fouls. Yes, and uh, we don't see any double teams so far from both sides. And we don't see any move as well from Louis Alas to pull out Jerome Ejercito from this game. Samantala may foul si Edward Nguyenyo, who is taking on uh, Carlos Strong early in this game. At uh, ano sa tingin mo yung matchup na yan? Mukhang ang gusto nilang limitahan si Jerry Cudinera as we take a look at... National coach Tim Cohn. Well, just a matchup na yun, na ibig sabihin lang, malaki ang uh, respeto nila no, sa contribution si Jerry Codillera in for some katapat niya ngayon. Looks at si Carlos Strong. Ginoo pa niya sa kabila. Very, you know, no, very simple ang uh, mga galaw ng si Carlos Strong. And si Carlos Strong, very solid player. He's not a showy or he's not a showtime player. Oh, uh, yun, uh, very effective. Here's the air si off the turnover. Jerome, nilaglag ni Carlos Strong. He goes up. And Guinho took a hard fall there, although he looks okay. Mukhang okay naman. Mukhang ang tumama pa sa kanya si Johnny Abarientos. Matapahinga. Eh. Uh, Panoorin natin nila si Jerome here si on that almost no-look pass. Fouled by Abarientos. Then si Guinho parang sumahon na pasahod siya kay Johnny eh. That was a PLDT IDD slow-mo replay up to 75% off. Pwedeng i-play by play ang kwento sa mga kamag-anak abroad. Ito ang meron ng mobile line ngayon. Ano? They have the quickness ano? to run up and down court. Tapos meron silang perimeter shooting. Si Romeo Herz ito, si Jerry, uh, Jerry uh, Codinera. Tapos andyan pa si Don Camaso na kung minsan eh, madalas din makatingin sa labas. That's one thing you like about Don Camaso. Si Camaso eh... Aruno Tumira Salabas, and he can run the floor as well. And of course, rebounders, Camaso trying to put it back. 
Wala. Abate po ang mobile line ng isa. 5 to 4. 9, 10 remaining. Sa unang ito, Guinho against Godinera. Oh, that's a tough matchup. Godinera, one of the best defensive centers in the league. Ganda lang depensa ni Jerry to. Hindi nakakuha ng pwesto. Itong si Coach Guinho. Inikot nila. Si Carlos Strong nasa low block. Laban si Kurt King. Ngayon, si Kurt King naman tumataw sa kanya. Ini dapat si Hersi to. That'll be number two on Winyo. Ayan, para nagpaparehas na sila. No? Kanina si Jerome Hersi to, two fouls. Ngayon, si Ponce Winyo naman. Agad-agad, may two fouls na rin. And like uh, Louis Alas, walang galaw si Coach Tim Cohn. Right now, para iupo si Ponce Winyo who picked up his second foul. Three team fouls ang magkabilang kumpunan. Although si Donald Yato is up on his feet now. Carlos Strong sa labas. Off to the right. Here's the remedy. Anin yung kanyang tirang yun. Magandang defense ni Jesus. Oh, what a spin! Carlos Strong missing that one, however. No foul. They come back the other way. Three on three. Kurt King sees the lane. Yes! And one. Tignan natin kung sino kumag. Nako! Yun, si Jerome. May hair dito. Tatlo na. Masakit yan. Agad-agad binunod si Coach Dewey. Itong si Patrick Fran para palitan si Jerome na may tatlong foul na ngayon. Hindi siya natakot eh. Gusto pa sana niyang sapalin. Pero si Kurt King already had the momentum. And that's a strange way of running the fast break. Si Kirk King ang nagtapos doon. Si Kenneth Durandes. Of course, si Kenneth Durandes is second in the league with the team's assists. Pero still, madalasan si Johnny nagpapasimula ng fast break. Yes. Si King, pinakikita lang niya. He can start the fast break. He can also finish the fast break. Eh, here's it on. Nilaglag si Carl Strong. He goes up there. A great super focus deal tapal from Kirk King. Ayun lang, ah. Hindi natin nakikita itong uh, last couple of games kaya tumaas ang scoring no, ng mga kalaban ng Alaska. Yung kanilang team defense no, at uh, marami silang inalaw na puntos sa past few games. Ito si Kirk King has not shown too much of his shot blocking ability. He's only averaging about less than a shot block a game as you see Jerry Codinera with a nice semi-hook. Pero alam natin si Kirk King if he focuses on defense, he can be certainly an intimidating factor sa loob ng paint. Ano? Tama. Bounce pass, Hawkins, na bulabog, na tapik palabas. Let's see. Mukhang nahawakan ni Camaso yun. Pero, uh, ayan, Alaska ball, tama. Yes, ruling ni referee Tito Varela, who together with referee the Jose and Ramos are calling the shots today. On the floor, Aliado is in the game now. Side shot, and Don Aliado is on the board early in this game. And, ayun din ang maganda, kay Kenneth Remdes, number two in assist again, giving up an assist there finding the open man. He's averaging 5.3 assists per ball game. Bumaba na from about seven. Here's Strong, pick, controls. The black shirts are running. Hawkins, tuloy tuloy sa basket. And the Hawk gives Alaska four point lead. Very aggressive ang start ng Alaska ngayon. Ha? At uh, hindi ka mukha nung ibang start nila. Actually, matamlay sila sa ibang mga start nila. But this time, mukha umubra yung termo ni Coach Tim Cohn. Well, one thing that they showed against Ginebra, they were very complacent to sa laban na yun. At ang barangay Ginebra just came out to play two nights ago. Well, ayaw na ng Alaska maulit yan. And how difficult is it to play Alaska after they come off a loss? They've not lost back-to-back -back games. Sabi nga natin, in over five months, that's the record. There's Hawkins again. And it looks like uh, Alaska came out to play uh, tonight. Maagang maaga ito kanilang ratsada rito. Ayun ang tira ni Carlos Strong. Yun ay pamatay sunog. Actually, muntik na mailigang defense sa Alaska. Oh. Pero naging blessing in disguise pa para sa mobilize. That is only the second three-point shot or PLDT IDD long-distance shot ni Carlos Strong in this conference. He's averaging only 25%. In the meantime, si Don Camaso picking up his first foul here. Lead is down to three. 13 to 10. Lamang po ang Alaska Milk. Very important game. Mobile line trying to keep its winning run, Alaska. 
Trying to come in to the Magic Four. The Blanc Tiran and Dorendes. Magandang matchup din yun. Si Dorendes versus Bong Ravena. No? So, uh, isang defensive uh, specialist against yung ating former MVP. Yes. Alam ko si Dorendes, hindi rin pwede tawanan ang defensa niyan. Ay, de. Naku. Nakantala ang pasa. Nabulabog. Tapos na kisani ang Mariano. Kilitin na ng... Uh, Battlefield, oh what a pass! That is the kind of player Kenneth Durantes is. He can see the floor with eagle eyes. Yung tinatawag nating ball faking, ano? So, binake niya muna yung attention ng depensa na punta sa kapila. At saka pinasa po si Itinayak. Marlos Long, binangga ang katawan. Rebound na binawa niya, lalabas, mananatili, or pupunta sa panig ng Alaska. Strong start for the Milkmen and they have erected an... Kurt King with offensive rebound, tries, tries to make room and he gets the basket. Well, Alaska is working hard tonight. Huh? Offensive rebound, Kurt King on the follow-up. Very organized sila ngayon. Ito. Strong na double team. A masa sa labas. And gets a PLD, the IDD long distance shot. That is... Uh, his fifth point, una niyang three-pointer, he's averaging about 29% from the three-point range. Yeah, advantage si Don Camaso, no? it's about 6'6", and he can shoot over the arc of the defense pag nasa labas siya. Mataas pa lumundag yan. Oo. Oh. Natapik ang bola, at may foul si Carlos Strong. That'll be number two now on Strong. Foul number 25, Carlos Strong, penalty situation. As a penalty na po ang kupuna ng Mobiline and that will send Kurt King to the free throw line. Two free throws for Kurt King. Again, ang Alaska is coming off a loss against Barangay Ginebra just a couple of nights ago. Wala pa nilang yun eh. They gave up 30 free throws to their opponents. And that's one thing na nabanggit nga ni Coach Tim Goon na ano bang klaseng depensa pinakita niyo ng araw na yun. Of course, their offense was not wanting. In fact, paramihan sa kanilang mga starters were in double digits nung laban na yun. But it was really the defense, giving up 100 points, na naging problema ni Coach Tim Goon. Ang delikado sa Alaska, no? If they decide to play defense, they can play defense. This time, they fouled on si Johnny Abarieto. That'll be number two on the flying A. Patrick Brandt, by the way, is in the game now. Pinalta niya si Jerome Ejercito, who has three personal fouls early in this game. Civic Pablo also has played well Oh yes, so far para sa Mobiline Pero hindi pa siya natin nakikita dito Oo, kaya nga malalim na malalim Ang bench ng Mobiline dito Dari pwedeng punutin na mag-deliver Para dito sa Mobiline Sa Magdala, si Kurt King Hindi na doon kailangan pumunot pa ng player Siya na mismo bumubuhat sa kanila Labing isang puntos na po Ang import ng Alaska Milk This is a guy who only averages 22 a game Although tumakas na yan from a 15 level Noong una siya nagpasimula dito, pero daan-daan na niya ang ginapakita yung offense niya, Yoy. Oh, yes. At uh, doon, nakita natin na uh, pumaw si uh, Bong Hawkins kay Don Camaso, who was forced to bring down the ball kasi pinipressure ni Johnny yung kanilang point guard na si Patrick Franz. Nasa penalty na ang dalawang kumpanan, 3.35 remaining here in the first quarter. at si Hawkins na mawala sa rebounding sequence. Ano? Tama. Yan ang, uh, ano eh, yan ang trend niya sa labas. So, Hawkins has to come out for him. At saka isang malaking bagay din. Malakas mo melt si Bong Hawkins. Eh. Malakas mo melt sa bola. So, kung stretch sa labas yung kanyang uh, tinatao, hindi masyado makakahelp si Bong Hawkins. Eh, kagaya niya. Nung may help nga siya, kaya sila natawagan ng illegal dyan. Illegal defense. Pero tama ka doon. Yung sa puntong yun. And that's the concept of the team defense ng Alaska Milk. Again, Camaso playing number three here. Kaya nung lumala pa si Hawkins, there's the help defense sa pinag-uusapan mo yung Torendes getting the steal, that's yung pasa niya, 
Masyadong uh, masikip yun. Masyadong masikip. Napakaliit ng butas eh. Tinubukan niyang ipasok. Eh, oh. Nakuha tuloy. Butas ng karayo. Ang pinasok niya eh. <laughs> bola eh. Bola ng basketball eh. Pagpasok po tayo, or less than 3 minutes na lamang sa unang ito, Cotinera faking, turning around, what a shot. Ang hirap to, nakontra si Empo yun eh. He went, going to his left, tapos bilang kumihit, papuntang kanan, tapos nag-turn around na naman. And Jerry Cotinera is just very sharp. Ang taas ng kumpiyansa ni Jerry, no? last few games nila, napakataas ng uh, kumpiyansa ni Jerry. Well, he's, he's shooting 47% in this conference. Pero kagaya nga na nabanggit natin, in his last two games, he's been shooting 53.6%. Patrick Fran, nilapas ni Bong Ravena. Cotinera ang libre. He holds up her. Wala. And Aliado will be called for this one. <laughs> Ito sana niyang i-box out si Carlos Strong from the offensive glass. Pero masyadong nadiin. Tama. Otis to Otis. Ayan na. Nakuhanan din siya ng, ano, eh, ng experience. Ika nga. Ito si Carlos Strong. Umarte ng konti para mapansin ng referee. Sa college po. Welcome back mga kaibigan sa inyong PBA Commissioner's Cup. Noli Iyala po kasama si Yang Giao. At si Carlos Strong na sa free throw line. Opportunity para kausapin ko kung pari kong Yeng about uh, ang batang Red Bull na medyo <coughs> may, may nalas kayo nung last game ninyo, Yeng. Oo nga eh. Puro end game ang talo namin. Ano? So siguro kailangan na magkaroon pa ng konti experience yung mga bata ano? sa pagpapanalo pa makahanap sila ng uh, paraan para maipanalo yung end game namin. Eh, lalo na ngayon na napakahigpit ang ating team standings. Bawat panalo dito, bawat talo ay napakahalaga. No? Importante, importante. Kaya kita mo itong Alaska at itong Mobile ay nagpapakamatay itong dalawang kopona na ito para manalo ngayon. Totoo yan. Because so, Alaska is in the bottom four kung ating tutusin if we started the quarterfinals today. So they certainly want to get up to that top four just to get that uh, twice to beat advantage. Rodney Santos, pasa nila, nasala na naman. Again, mobile line, parang uh, na-anticipate yung mga ganong klaseng galaw. Jumper and Don Camaso is red hot in the first quarter. Seven points. Top local scorer and the lead swings back to Mobile Line 22 21. Pareho ko pa nang kasi nag double team na eh. Kaya nag move sila ng bola. May mga nali libre ngayon. Hindi yun ang tira ni Kirk King sa labas. Again, umatake ang phone pals. They look for their import. 14 seconds sa kanilang shot clock. A minute and 13 in the first. They move it around again. Kamasos the open man again from the other corner. Wala. He gets it back. Kamasos Oy. goes to the hole. <laughs> Don Kamaso with nine points. What a game. Ganun ang aggressiveness dapat. Ano? Nagmintis ka ng tira. Huwag ka lang tatayo. No? You look for an opportunity. At uh, buti na lang nakita siya ni Jerry. Nabigyan siya ng assist doon. Oh. 45 seconds remaining. Torrente sa luwak again. That pass. Another turnover. Lead pass. Pinakatingin si Torrente. Tuloy-tuloy kay Romero. Oh. Two mistakes. Una yung pasa. The other one, he was just parang uh, namamasil sa Torrente. Hindi niya nakita yung pasa. Nasa itaas na lang uh, ulo niya. Kaya too late to mag-react siya. You know, very uncharacteristic ito kay Kenneth Torrente siya. He's averaging five assists per game. But only 2.7 turnovers. Here's that pass. Kita mo, parang uh, pabanjing-banjing si Aliado at si Dorendes. Nahuli na yung kanilang pagdepensa. And that forces Tim Cohn to call a 30-second timeout here with 30 seconds to go in the quarter. Mobile line, abante po ng limang puntos. And all of a sudden, itong uh, mobile line, umarangkada na naman. Kulang na naman sa depensa ang Alaska Milk. Yes, at uh, pasalamat sila dito kay Don Camaso. No? Siyang uh, nag-init dito. Well, this 30-second timeout is brought to you by San Mig Light. And totoo yan, si Don Camaso, siyam na puntos na po ang uh, nabubuhos. His average in the PBA Commissioner's Cup is only 5.8 points a game. So, mahigit na sa boundary niya. At maaga pa tayo dito. Yan pa, maganda rito sa mobile line. Ano? One game, mag-iinit ito si Patrick Fran or yan sila Jerome Hersito, yung mga guwarda nila. In other games, mag-iinit sila Jerry, mag-iinit naman sila Big Pablo, Pablo oh. saka sila Don Camaso. Kaya 
Mahirap i-anticipate ano? Mahirap paghandaan sa depensa Itong mobile line team na to Well, fine job A fine job being done by Louis Alas And of course, his assistant Si Arik Del Rosario Have certainly come up with uh, Great adjustments for this mobile line team Who for a while seemed lost Without Asi Lava. But now, there's new life After Asi At si Dorendes patuloy ang problema As you take a look at Bong Hawkins who has uh, six points in the first quarter, but siya lamang ang tumutulong sa kanilang import na si Kirk King. Si Dorembes, pangalawa niya, wala pa rin. Two misses from Captain Marvel. Parang medyo lumailay yung uh, pacing ng Alaska. No? Kanina, matinding-matinding yung intensity nila. Biglang uh, bumagsak ngayon. Oo. Oh. Nakaturo ang kanilang unit sa shot clock at the game clock. Sabi nila, last shot time. They look for Carlos Strong and there's a foul. Nasa penalty na, magkabilang koponan. And that will send Strong to the line. Second foul ni Don Aliado. Yan din isa kong uh, napansin dito kasamang Noli. No? Even in the games that we play sa Batang Red Bull, itong mga referees napaka-stricto ngayon. Ano? Doon sa contact, ano? doon sa pagdepensa mo, yung mga handshake, yung mga bangga, eh, madalas nila tawagin ngayon. Oo. Oh. Hindi na pwede yung... Uh... Hindi na pwede yung petik. Yung mga minamasahe. Kung isa, dati. Uh, ay, pag magpapos na yung oras, uh, yung quarter, isa, pinababayaan na nila yun eh. Pero ngayon, pinatawag pa nila. Stricto. Kaya nga, nakita natin earlier, si Jerome Ehels ito, tatlo ka agad ang fouls. Kaya, uh, parsado siya umupo. Si Winyo, dalawang fouls na maaga. Dalawa na rin si Aliado. Dalawa rin si uh, Amariento. In the meantime, one out of two from the line. Salang na po nga lang uh, mobilay ng anim. Running shot ni Amarientos. And that'll do it here in the first quarter. A 6-17 to 4 run. Oh, ang dami nating nakakausap ng mga security guard na kumbaga, kung hindi man sila duty, PBA nakatuto. Kung nakaduty man, uh, minsan nagdadala sila ng either radio o maliit na TV. At uh, kami po ay natutuwang makasama kayo lahat sa inyong bayan ng superstars. Main game today, araw po ng linggo sa PBA Commissioner's Cup. Mobiline laban sa Alaska. Si Victor Pablo pumasok na sa ating laban. At inyo po niya si Don Camaso. Rodney Santos is also in the game. Walang tinamaan yung tira. At ang bola babalik sa panig ng Alaska Milk. Napanggit mo Noli yung mga ano mga kaibigan natin mga security guard. Oh. Ano, pampaalis ng antok nila yung papanood Ay, ng ano no. Panonood ng uh, PBA. At saka syempre ano pag inom ng batang Red Bull. Ayun, <laughs> syempre naman. Pampaalis ang antok yan. Alam mo yung ito pampaalis ng antok. Pero pampapusog din doon sa mga hindi pa nagkakapunan. Ito na po sa iyo nabubusog. Sa inyo na pinagigilin mo ang PBA. Kamandala si Bong Hawkins. Okay, maganda yung tira ngayon. Mungkit na maakaw niya Mariento. Sa bilis talaga ng Jeff Mariento. Ay, double dito. Ako, nakakalimutan. Mental lapse on the part of Bong Ravenna. And now Brian Gahol will see action for the first time. Kapalta niya si Don Aliado. Brian Gahol is a guy who has certainly picked up his game. It is a commissioner's cup, averaging seven points a game, shooting close to 53% from the field. Doon sa first quarter pa lang, itong Mobilan, meron na kaagad tatlong three-point shot. Ano? Three out of four sila, 75% from the three-point area. Talagang, yun na yata naging uh, difference, you know? Oo, oh, yung nine Kosip, points uh, nine nila. Nine points kaagad yun, you know? The three-point uh, area kanina, first quarter pa lang. At ang lamang ng Mobilan, anim. So, halos yun na nga. Samantalang Alaska, patuloy doon sa kanilang play na parang ito, maganda yung pass this time ni Kirk King. Pero yung kanina yung nauhuli yung pass nila na puro drop pass. Parang ang mobile na pag-aralan yung play ng Alaska. Uh, the, ma ano eh, magaling mag-scout naman pareho itong team na to. No? You can see that the both went scouted, kaya mas mahirap makashoot. Mas mahirap mag-execute. In terms of defense, ang Alaska, very unusually, the second worst in the league, giving up about 89 points to their opponents. Ay, nakakapagtakayan. Ayun nga, na pag-usapan natin kanina, very uncharacteristic for Alaska to give up too many points. Yes. Here's Kurt King turning around. That, that one spins out. Mobiline, on the other hand, is only giving up about 82 points a game, one of the best in the league. Tira sa labas ni Strong. Carlos Strong with 11. Alam mo ito si Carlos Strong, akala ng iba, no? Na dinidepensahan siya. Mahina yung kanyang outside shooting. But if you give him enough time and good looks, he will make his basket from the outside. From the two-point range, Yeng, ang kanyang average is about 43%. So, hindi naman kasamaan. 
And then that's about uh, decent na para sa kanya. Uy, Rodney Santos. Talk about decent. Si Rodney Santos played well in his last game against Barangay Ginebra. Scored about 20 points, if I'm not mistaken, in that particular game. Of course, in a losing cause. There's a whistle, illegal defense here. Against, uh, Alaska, yes. Sa Manoli, itong si, ano, no, nabanggit natin kanina, Codinera and uh, Big Pablo stepping up on Bobby Line. Para sa Alaska naman, ano, aside from yung regulars nila, Rodney Santos at saka si Brian Gahol naman, ano, ang so far na step up dito sa last few games ng uh, Alaska. That's yes. why we're expecting a lot from them this time, ano. Technical free throw, nakuha ni Patrick. Pero tama yung sinahad mong yun eh. Talagang yung uh, bench ng uh, Alaska. And we've mentioned this in so many of our coverages. Parang ito si Tim Cohn. Merong kagad second generation ng mga players. In the next oh, millennium. In next millennium. <laughs> next decade. Alam mo, alam mo, maski naman yung regulars niya, yung talagang first stringers niya. Itong si Johnny at itong si, si Kenneth Remdes, hindi naman katandaan yan. Ay, no? at, at, at their peak, at their physical peak, itong talagang ito. Yes. Maybe in terms of number of years, they are veterans in this game, but not certainly in age. That is Kerr King. Pinigilan ni Patrick Fran, and let's see if this would be a uh, advantage foul. Hindi itatawag ito. So good foul given up by Patrick Fran, stopping the fast break. That's a smart foul to give. Dahil siguradong two points. Eh. Well, import na nagdadala doon. There's no way you can stop him going to the basket. Oh. Again, si Boyet Francisco will check in. Diyan naging feature natin sa ating veterano profile kanina marunong pala mag piano to si Boye magaling ano? concert pianist pala to kaya pala mahusay din tumira sa labas eh. yung mga naliri talaga mahusay oh matik na masapal yan instead there will be a foul against Codinera it seems and Kirk King will go to the line look like Codinera had ball there maganda na yung position ni Jerry eh, no? ang uh, nagka problema lang uh, tinamaan daw niya sa kamay ito si Kirk King but so far, Jerry's playing very good position defense ano, against Kirk King. Hindi siya nagpapapwersa sa ilalim. Nakita natin si Luis Ella, sinisilip yung ating uh, big screen dito para makita yung huling play na yun. Kirk King making his first free throw. He has a total of 12 points. In his last game against Barangay Hinebra, he scored 32 points. 54% from the field and 67% from the line. So alam mo ito si Kirk King slowly picking up his scoring dito yung nagpasimula yan. Nabaw talagang momenta na niya eh improve na oy backing yan backing at binikling si Patrick Fran sa center line and there will be a turnover against Moby line nagbunga yung uh, backward pressure nila Johnny Abarientos depensa ng Alaska naka uh, nagkaroon ng turnover doon para sa kanila ito ang nakakatakot na unit ng Alaska itong Abarientos Santos na magkasama kasama si Kaol ito oh. yung mga sumatakbo eh ito yung mga hatcher nila oo oh. Nakamada ng fast break. Kumat si Rodney Santos, walang basa. Victor Pablo will be called for this one. First foul in Victor Pablo. Quite interesting, he's guarding Bong Hawkins. Pareho sila na naging kandidato dun sa ating Centennial team. Hawkins was actually included already, pero nagkaroon siya ng injury. Si Pablo naman was one of the last players dropped from the uh, PBA Centennial team that time. Tamaso is back in the game. Codinera sits down. There's that play again. And again, it's broken up by Mobiline. Actually, maganda yung line ng pasa. No? It was just too strong for uh, Brian Gahol to handle. But uh, maganda. Good idea yung uh, execution lang nagkaroon ng problema. Alaska had five turnovers back in the first quarter. They had a total of 11 all in the game. Laban sa Barangay Hinebra. And talk about turnovers. Here's Abarietos with the left hand. Malakas. Gets his own miss. Binigay ki Santos. And that's what you were saying. <laughs> this is the quick lineup. The whole Santos and Abarietos combining. Ayun yung trio. Nandun. At uh, muntik na naman yun. Muntik na naman maagaw. Francisco faking. He's wide open. Malakas. Abarietos gets the rebound. They're down by just one. Hawkins tumatakbo. He loses si Patrick Grant. Nabitawa ng bola. Carlos Strong with a spin. Here's Pablo. Malina tumatao. Patay. Alam niya, ano yung uh, kanyang teammate ng college, Gianni Abarieto. Gianni Abarieto sa hindi ko, hindi ako aabutan ito. <laughs> Kaya ko itira ito ka over Gianni. Victor Pablo was chosen ahead of Gianni Abarieto in the draft. Nakalibre ang Alaska nun. Here's Rodney Santos. Yes! 
Robbie Santos with eight points all made in the second quarter. Ayan ang malaking advantage ng Alaska. No? Kenneth Rentes is sitting on the bench. Pero hindi nila nami-miss ito dahil ito sila Rodney Santos nag-deliver. Oo. Oh, Dusot si Carlos Strong sa defensa. Splitting the double team. And Carlos Strong with 13. The same output of Kirk King. Yung matchup na pinag-usapan natin kanina. No? Matchup of the imports. They play alike. They even look alike. And now, pareho sila. 13-13 ang kanilang score. The styles are the same. Reach and foul. And let's see. Mukhang uh, laban kay Patrick Fran ito. Yes. That'll be number two on Patrick Fran. And now Hawkins will be given a rest. See, Edward Guino will come back into the game. Kailangan laban. Hawkins. Medyo napapagod na ng konti-konti dito. He had six points in the first quarter. Wala pa siya nagagawa in the second. Fresh from the bench, Sablay and Tirani Rino, offensive rebound by the hole, and there's going to be a foul, laban kay Don Camaso. Pinakikitaan talaga tayo ng hassle nitong si Brian Gahol, no? And uh, we were talking about guys stepping up, certainly again in this game, Brian Gahol proving that to us. Watch the rebound and watch the timing, nice fake. In our PLDT IDT slow mo replay, up to 75% off. Pwede ni play by play ang kwento sa mga kamag-anak abroad. Brian Gahol, a product of the University of the Philippines. Mababayang ko rin yan, mula sa Los Banos. Ah, ganun ba? Kamusta po kayong lahat dyan sa Paybayin, Los Banos, Laguna. Welcome sa Bayan ng Superstars, ang inyong kababayan, si Brian Gahol, at the line. Produk pa rin ng PBN yan, kasamang mga rin. Oo, dito yan, ang panahon mo. Oo, hindi naman masyado malayo yun. Last year lang yun. Okay, okay. Parang kasi tanda mo na yung ginasabi nila Anthony, 1975 pa sila nag-go-cover. Parang yung panahon ng hapon yung ilo yung sabihin. Hindi naman. Ito, panahon ng turnover para sa Mobiline. Nawala na naman ang bola. Napalakas yung pasak kay Carlos Strong. Limang turnovers na. Ang Mobiline phone pounds dito sa second quarter, they only had three back in the first. So, medyo purara sila dito sa bola sa second period. And of course, also by the defense, puta by Alaska. Ang sumindi yung kanilang defensa pagdating dito sa second quarter. Here's Santos floating. He has 10 in the game. What a quarter for the slasher. Double digits for him. And he has given Alaska a one-point lead here, 35 to 34. Asamang Noli, nagdidilang ang hell tayo. No, we mentioned Brian Gahol, Rodney Santos stepping up. Talagang silang sila ngayon. What a game for Rodney Santos. Patrick Fran Salabas, wala rebound. Hindi, medyo premature yung talo ni Victor Pablo. Amarientos looking downstairs. Sees Rodney again. Gives it up to Gahol. And Gahol moves that one. Picking offensive rebound, yes! And you talk about the intensity na lumaylay kanina, yung itong intensity ng Alaska, parang roller coaster. Minsan mataas, minsan bababa. Ito ngayon, nagbalik naman para sa kanila. Pure hustle naman, pinakikita ng Alaska ngayon. And Mobiline is in trouble here. Three-point lead para sa Alaska Milk. Camaso, he had a big first quarter. Francisco, natapigan. Here they come again. Four on two. Amarientos. Loader off the glass. Ako na na, sabi niya. Wala kang kakabakaba. No? Pag si Johnny nagdadala ng iyong pass break, he can take the shot and he will find the open man. That time, he took the shot. And will Alaska get to heaven? Well, not if Camaso can help it here. Camaso still coming up with a big game. 11 already para kay Don Camaso. At natapias niya yung Alaska lead ng bahagya. Tatlo na lamang, uh, Yeng. 39-36, four and a half remaining. In the quarter, as you take a look at our quick type board, brought to you by quick type, the all-in-one blue technology by Loctite. Turnover story dito. Pumaliktad na ang uh, gangang hip ng hangin. Kira sa labas ni Rodney Santos, sablay Camaso with a rebound. Ito, nagbalik na si Jerome Hercito, no? Persado na si Coach Louis Alas na talagang gamitin siya dahil masyado na siyang naka, matagal nakaupo sa bench because of his foul situation. Eh, Hercito? Baka si Gahol natawagan ni referee Barella dito ng foul. No. It will be against Dorentes, it seems. And at Dorentes will pick up his first foul. Ito, isa pa rin nakakatakot sa lineup ito. Itong big unit naman ng Alaska. Abarientos is not there. Two quick slashing players. Dorentes, Rodriguez.
Sabay niya ipasok si Jerome at saka si Patrick Fran para uh, makapagdala rin pareho ng bola under pressure. Well, of course, alam natin si Patrick Fran is an excellent defensive player and alam din ni Coach Louis Alas na si Rodney Santos eh, kumakamada na dito. Oh. Kaya naman si Fran na nakatutok no. kay Rodney Santos. Ang ganda ng labanan dito, eh, yung matchup for matchup eh, no? dahil pareho malalalim ang bench ng team na to. Eh. Eto, agad pinigilan ni Fran si... Rodney Santos sa pagangat and that will be a foul on Patrick Fran. They are in the penalty, number three now on uh, Patrick Fran. And Rodney Santos will go to the line. Two free throws for Rodney Santos. What an interesting story Rodney Santos is. Second pick overall back in 95. Ito, no? Batang FEU din to, si oh, Rodney Santos. Brian 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 Lead is up again to six points in Alaska. And Rodney Santos gets the miss. Pushing it up. A finish of the ball is a good ball. Here's Kirk King again. Actually, kasama ng Noli, mabilis nga yung uh, ikot at rotation ng mga tao. Nagsasabayan sila, no? kahit dito si Louis Alas. Nakikisabay dun sa balasa ng tao ni Coach Steve Kong. Kanina, wala siya barietos. Ayun, andyan lang agad. Andyan lang agad. Eh, here's ito, tinatao, tinatao niya barietos. Natapigan na naman. And here's another steal. Quick hands by Johnny. Binigay ni Santos. Love in the game for the slasher. Alam mo, mukhang may foul doon, ano? pero hindi na tinawag ng referee no? na ang tingin ko may foul si Johnny. Pero what's good about that is, hindi na nagreklamo si Jerome, basta tuloy-tuloy na lang. At ngayon, ang mobile line phone foul, si Hiling ng 30-second timeout as we take a look at the steal here by Johnny Abarietas. And as we said, napaka-delikado nitong uh, unit ng Alaska Milk pagdating sa takbuhan. Rodney Santos on the left side na tumapos ng fast break. On the right side was Kenneth Torrente. So, wala kang pipiliin doon pagdating sa fast break. Yes. And now, Louis Alas will have to think about this and talk about this one. Let's see. Now it's going to be a full timeout. Commissioner Jun Bernardino, umaraw man, bumagyo. <laughs> nakatawa pa rin. Laging nakatawa, of course. <laughs> Laging present sa ating liga. Almost a turnover there. Rodney Santos has been one hell of a player dito sa second quarter. He has outscored the entire Mobiline crew. As you take a look at our numbers in the paint, dominado-dominado ng Alaska Mets. Ayun. At uh, alam mo, ito si Coach Tim Cohn, kahit 10 puntos na itong lamang niya, hindi nagre-relax sa talagang pukpuk ng pukpuk niya sa mga players niya dahil naalala niya yung nangyari sa kanila against uh, natalo sila dito sa Hinebra. Oo. No? Oh. Tampo na nga pati nila. Eh, here's ito. Tumira sa labas. Wala. That's the other problem ng uh, Mobiline Yang. Ito si Jerome Hens. Ito has not been able to put up the numbers. Start ka, may hirap pa talaga hey. mag-recover. Naku! Tiniswerte pa ang Alaska ngayon. Oo. Oh, oh. Ayun yung sinasabi natin, presence of mind. Ano? Alam ni Kenneth, tinamaan siya, narinig niya yung whistle. Gusto niyang ipasa. Pero itinira na lang niya. Ang dami niya naisip sa split second na yun. Eh, no? <laughs> naisip niya na itira ko na lang to. Inaim pa niya yung bola. Sabi niya tama lang yung titaw ko. Yung aking puso. <laughs> 120 over 90, talaga naisip niya lahat. Alam mo, yung split second na yun, nagiging slow mo yan sa isip mo. Pagka talagang, ano ka, very stable ka. Although nagmintis si Kenneth Durendes muli from the free throw line, tatlong mintis na yata si Kenneth Durendes. Apat. 0-3 from the free throw line. Tim Cohn is not concerned at all. They have a big 12-point lead right now. Papasok po tayo ng dalawang minuto. Sa ikalawang yugto, there's a jump ball at the center circle. Right in front of us. 
the rest of, again, at the end of the two minute mark. Wino gives it to Kirk King. Short stab. And Strong is there. Defense ng Alaska is they're really choking your offense ng ano dito, mobilize. Oh, we knew it. Oh, grabe. Kaya na ron sa kanto si, ano, si Kenneth Dorendes, hindi siya nakita ni Winyo. Sakit ni Winyo yan eh. Minsan panira na. Ida-drive pa. Yeah, gusto ilapit pa. Oh. Pero, very comfortable lead pala nito, no? 12 oh. points in 1 minute 31 seconds left in the first half. Yan ang problema ng Mobileye dito. Wala sila masyadong makita ang panggagalingan ng puntos nila. No? Hirap sila maghanap ng scorer. And itong si Jerome Herzito is trying to produce something here. Abariento, sa tatawa ka na kanyang ikatlong personal foul. Medyo tinitiin na ni Herzito eh. Dahil hindi siya makakuha ng puntos, hindi siya makakala sa depensa ng Alaska. Kasi take a look at Rodney Santos yung napanggit natin kanina. He has just been unstoppable here in the second quarter. Parang import ito si Rodney Santos, 13 versus more. The whole mobilized team is only 9 points in this quarter. Ball pumpkins for Johnny Amarillos. Al Solis for Don Tomasos. Couple of substitutions. Al Solis, medyo pahiyang ito. Papalta niya si Camaso with only a minute and 22 remaining in the first half. Amarillos also sitting down here. Nagahanap si Coach Louis Alas dito ng uh, hot hand or instant offense. Ayan si Alan Solis, basta na libre yan. Especially from the three-point area. He will not hesitate to take that shot. Oh yes, veterano yan. And the lead is down somewhat here. Ten points with a minute and 15 remaining in the second period. Santos with a hot hand, 13, all made in the second. Here's Hawkins, back in the game. They move it around. Santos again, slashing to the lane, and he is 15. What an incredible game. That's why they call him the slasher. Oh. Ayan ang expertise talaga niya. But if you let him, hindi pag hindi mo nilapitan, he'll take the jump shot on you. Kaliwa pa yun, Yeng. Yes. 12-point lead para sa Alaska. Strong, going strong, missing that shot. He picks up the loose ball. And Strong is lucky. Oh, tama. May halong buenas na yun. Ano, nagkamali na sana sila ron. Eh, naging ano pa. Yung garbage, naging ginto pa. Para sa kanila. Sabi nga nila, sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. First King, nabitawan ng bola. Good tap from Jericho Dinera. They gotta push it up. They're down by 10. Strong. And there's a tap by Rodney Santos. Again, anticipating that one. Santos is ahead. No pass. Hawkins, breaking, going up. Bang. Alaska is just shooting the lights out here. Paraneta Coliseum. They're on top by 12. Only two seconds to go here. Here's it that one. And what a finishing uh, kick. Codinera Pablo, inaasahan pa naman natin na puputok yan dahil the last few games maganda pinakikita. Pero so far sa first half, wala pa silang gaano pinakikita rito para sa mobilize. Only two points para kay Vic Pablo and si Codinera naman, apat na puntos lamang ang ginagawa dito sa Darung ito, of course, Victor Pablo has only played seven minutes so far in this game. Although siya nagpapasimula, it is a third quarter. At between lamang natin ang lineups ng uh, magkabilang kupunan. Pablo is the only new face there from the starting unit. Ravenna, Strong, Codinera, Ejercito para sa Mobiline. Winyo, Kurt King, Hawkins, Tiremi, Cabarientos para sa Alaska. Carlos from Carlos Strong. Of course, this is now a ten-point lead. Yeng, at uh, para sa Mobiline, eh... One shot at a time. Hindi naman, hindi man malayo, malayo pa naman sa laban na to. Medyo parang, ano, sumapay sila sa Alaska sa tempo. Yes, at uh, ito pa, magiging malaking problema nila. Apat na foul dito ni Jerome Herzito. Actually, si Jerome, inaasahan nila yan, ano, mag-a-upgrade siguro mga 12 to 15 points. Dapat ang contribution niya sa laro. Pero sa ngayon, hindi siya makabuelo rito dahil yung uh, foul situation niya masyado matindi. Apat kagad. Ina-isolate pa siya ngayon. Kita mo naman tira yan. Oh my God. Woo! Dos Mariosef. Grabe. Iniliyan. Parang iniliyan. Iba klaseng control ni Johnny Ron. One on one play. Ayan pa. Nabitawa ng bola ni Carlos Strong. Tumatakpo si Vino. He's ahead. And that would be an easy layup. Parang kay Edward Vino. And the lead is up to 14 now. 
And the turnovers are just killing itong Mobileye. No? Yes. It's the defense of Alaska that's forcing them to commit the turnover. Pablo, yes. Victor, Victor Pablo, who back in 1993 was picked ahead of Johnny. Award dito sa PBA. As a tap out, however, it will go back to Mobiline. Here's that one on one play by Johnny. Head and shoulder fake. And do pa si Ejercito, but watch the move with the left hand. Unbelievable shot. PLDT IDD slow mo replay. Up to 75% off. Pwedeng in play by play. Ang kwento sa mga kamag anak abroad. Alam mo sa umpisa ng laro, ang in-expect ko na iwa one-on-one -on -one at magpo-force si Jerome Ejercito laban kay Johnny Abarieto. Pero baliktad ang nangyari, no? si Johnny talaga ang nag-one-on-one. Yes. Finally, si Jerry Cudinera gets a basket here after scoring four in the first. Bokya siya sa galawang yugto. Now he has six in the game. Lead is down again to ten. Cudinera shot only 40%. Back in the first half, bad pass by Hawkins, picked up by Carlos Strong. Botinera, ni Luso Tito Rembes, wala. Against uh, one ito. Patay ka na dyan. Ayun, tapos na. Tapos ang kwento. That's a sex book. Inigo sila, Pablo. Wala. Tamaso is not starting out. See, Tamaso was the game high scorer among the locals for the Mobile Line Fourth House. And Cotinera is in Nissan. Exactly. Jerry Cudinera, who came to the PBA in a package deal back in 1988, but as a pure food, now with a total of eight points. So aside from uh, si Kamato, ito si Jerry naman ang nagko-contribute ngayon dito sa third quarter. May ibang pumutok para sa kanila. Sa kanyang depensa nila, oh, yan, may mga nalilibre na dyan. Eh. Oh, marami. Dahil dinodobot team na sila. Eh. So pag ikot ng bola, mas mabilis talaga ikot ng bola kaysa doon sa takbo ng mga paa. Eh. Kaya parating merong open shot. And Louis Alas is on his feet. Pinag-usapan niya pa. Obviously, asking for more rotation pa mula sa kanyang mga bataan. Pablo faking, going inside. Oh, yeah. That's an offensive foul. Second foul on Victor Pablo, who is struggling tonight. Actually, mahirap talaga lusutan itong depensa ng Alaska. No? If you want to drive or you want to penetrate against Alaska, mahirap dahil yung kanilang team defense eh, nag-converge uh, uh, you know, sa gitna. Ayan na naman si Hawkins. Hawkins with back-to-back -back hits now. He has a total of 12 points. And mabaga lang kanyang uh, magpapasimula dito pero... Medyo may malas dito sa Mobila, may kamalasan sila. Dahil natapat sila dito sa Alaska after their bad loss to oh, ano, nga, so Ginebra. Ginebra. So sila ngayon ang uh, pinaghihigantihan itong, uh, itong Alaska. As we said, itong Alaska po, napakahirap kalabanin kapag na nanggagaling sa talo. They have not lost back-to-back -back games in about five months now. Outside shot, Kirk King. Wala. Odinara with a rebound. Ando pa agad. will not commit uh, too many mistakes. Yun, the same error oh, oh. two nights in a row. Kumbaga. Dorembes, ang higpit niyang uh, nilusutan ni Dorembes. And he will pick up the foul from Bong Ravenna, it seems. That'll be number three now on uh, Ravenna. But to get up Dorembes, we go to the line. Diyan mo makikilala lang isang championship team, ano, kamukha ng Alaska. Ano. They will not commit too many mental mistakes na sinasabi natin. No? And uh, ang isa pa maganda dito sa team na to, ang mga, ang, uh, they, although all of them can score, ano, but they move the ball and they do not discriminate. Ibig sabihin kung sino malibre siyang uh, titira. 
Eh, lahat naman yan, kaya gumawa ng puntos. Yun nga, eh. kaya when they start moving the ball, they look so cohesive because they really do not discriminate. Basta ikot lang ng ikot ang bola kung sino may best opportunity sa titira. Of course, ang Mobiline has never or has not had too much success against the Alaska franchise since the Lapantay Holdings franchise. In Alaska in this conference only once in seven games. And that's a good start, Patrick Fran. Okay, PLTT, IDD long distance shot. Pero ang laki pa rin ang lamang ng Alaska. Labing tatlong puntos. 64 to 51. Papasok po tayo ng kalahating yugto. Or kalahating quarter. Kirk King at the low block. Nine seconds a shot clock nila. He's double team. Libre si Winyo. No foul there. Oh, Nakagip ni Hears ito. Oh, Benes pa si Jerome doon. Dahil ba? Voila. He had a miserable first half. He's strong, only 33% from the field. And again, they're going to the man of Ejercito. No, I thought he had it to them. Nako, offensive foul to Hawkins. Nakita ni referee Varela sa ilalim. Good day po, isang magandang-magandang gabi sa inyo lahat, mga kaibigan. Kamustayin naman natin paano niya ang ating mga kaibigan, mga manging isda dyan sa Bulacan. Ang dami tayong kaibigan dyan na nanonood din sa atin. Sa Hagunoy, sa Bambong, Ayun, yung sa Malolos. Ayun, yung mga tatabi ng dagat yan. Ayan, ano, oh. uh, Kamusta po kayo lahat? Pati na yung mga, ano, yung mga nagbababa ng nyog dyan sa Laguna. Ayun, sa Ayun, yung, Kamusta uh, po kayo lahat? Welcome oh. sa inyong bayan ng superstars. Ang bayan nyo, maraming kopra dun. No? Kopra, yan. Ayat. Ang <laughs> <laughs> patuba ng baboy. Eh. Pero dito sa lata na ito, kalaan ng mobilan. Ayun, Ayun, Ayun at uh, nag-provide uh, si Jerry Cotinera. Parang nag-iinit na si Jerry, ha? Oo, uh, pero kung siya lang, dapat eh, magdagdag pa sila ng kanilang mga scoring options. Kahit yung import nila, si Carlos Strong, eh hirap na rin pumuntos. Totoo yan, si Carlos Strong, 17 puntos, dalawa pa lamang dito sa third quarter. Napigilan ang opensa ng Alaska pero tumatakbo pa rin ang kanilang shot clock. There's a Marietto scaring away pero mahina tira. Nako, mukhang na-pulled muscle o tinamaan ng uh, hita ni Gianni. Pati si Carlos Strong, iika-ika. Oo, oh, pareho silang iika-ika. Eh, here's ito. Nilapas si Codinera. Codinera may have to take over this game. It's a tap out by Marietto. And that's a huge last touch by Victor Pablo. A big call right there and Louis Alas. Checking that particular Pero, sequence. Alam natin. Mo, mas malapit yung referee dyan. Eh. Tingnan natin. Oh, Yun. Oh, tama, kay, tama. Kay, ano, kay Big Pablo tama, talaga. Tama. That was a PLDD-IDD slow-mo replay up to 75%. Nabiling. Nanggigil si Pochuinho. No? Could have been just a simple layup. Pero gusto niya may punctuation mark eh. Oo. Oh, nice to watch. Pero sayang. Hindi kasama yun sa puntusan. Kakahinayang yung ganun. Libring libre. Bamba o ni Torembes. And that's our cue naman para sa ating pagpasok ng ating 105-15 USA Collect Fast Break. Ito po yung pasa ni Strong off a curl to the running Victor Pablo. And you just saw 105-15 USA Collect Fast Break. Left side, he has it to pull the trigger. Yes! Two points lang, pero hindi na nakatayo si Jerome. He's down on the floor. Na-spray niya ata si Jerome. And that pinigilan ni Carlos Strong dahil may kakampi siyang naka... Uh, tingin ko rito, na-twist yung ankle niya, no? Pagbagsak niya from that jump shot, usually madalas ganun ang mangyari, no? May matatapakang kampa, ah. So, tingnan natin, uh, yung maganda yung jump shot niya. Sumingit si Doremdes, nako. Nako, yun. Mukhang napatid nga yun. Magbabayad utang muna ako. Okay. Dapat, eh, ano ko, ninong ako sa kasal kahapon. Hindi ako nakapunta dahil no. may game oh, kami, no? So, napala. congratulations kay Mr. and Mrs. L. Uychokte. Yeah. At may mga bagong inaanak ako sa kasal. At alam mo kagad yung regalo? Oh, ayun. Oh, yung, ano Bakawin ba yun? na lang tayo sa ganun. Hindi oh. tayo nakalating kahapon eh. Ano ba yun? Kinakausap mo pa sa Tomasia doon? <laughs> Congratulations sa inyong dalawa. Samantala, itong laban ito. Ayun na naman si Rocky Santa. She had the most productive first half in this uh, game. 15 points back in the first half. 88% shooting. Ngayon, 70 na on his return. And he continues to shoot like there's no tomorrow. Patrick Brandt. 
Ini ikut dia lah. Strong is okay. He goes up. That's strong. Ayun. At uh, sinasabi natin kanina, nawawala na yung uh, import scoring nila rito. Kung kailan pa naman, kailangan-kailangan nila na miscore itong si Carlos Strong. Dalawang putus pa lamang sa third. Si Carlos Strong. Dorente slashing in. High off the glass. Rebound. Napulot ni Carlos Strong. Butik na maagaw. Tuluyan na nga naagaw. Pero nabitawan ni Rodi Santos. Si Ravena, putin yan ang ball fake, running shot, difficult shot, oh, what a shot. Nakahiga na si Jerry, pero pasok pa rin yung tira niya. Kurt King, going up, yes, and one for the Alaska import. Late yung pagkaka-double team ni Big Pablo Ang nangyari, nagkaroon ng contact Kurt King for his possible three-point play Kasamang na ulit na nakikita natin Lamang ng labing isa yung Alaska Mukhang may resistance sa fourth quarter Maganda-ganda ang chance mo Manageable na manageable Tayo nito Patrick Pan At the field in the IDD long distance shot Number three already Para kay Patrick Pan He has 10 in the game We're talking about 8 points, sam na lamang. Hinihingi natin, single digit. Ayan, sam na lang, single digit na to. This will be the signal for them. Maybe. Carlos Strong playing a little more active defense now. In the past, 3 seconds on the shot clock. Bailout shot. No, tip in. Malakas pa rin. A minute and 39 to go. And we're only in the third quarter. This is something... at uh, nagkaka eh, tinatawag natin na uh, yung team mo nagkakaroon ng karakter ano? yes. pagka bad times eh, hindi kayo nagpo-fold up hindi kayo nagigive up parang sige hang in there ganun lang bibigit uh, ka ng konti kasi sa dulo maaaring maagaw mo pa tama wait for your chance be patient Dorentes going up again off the glass malakas kamaso with a big rebound lead is at 9 points Alaska to Helm, Alaska first coming into this game after a loss and there's Carlos Strong putting down that lead to just seven from a high of 16. And that's just his fourth point dito sa quarter na to at tempong uh, tempo. With 21 seconds to go here and an opportunity for Mobileye to inch in a little closer. Coach Tim Cohn takes this opportunity to rest itong si King, ano, yung kanilang import at uh, meron siyang ilang segundo and uh, uh, quarter break no, para magkaroon ng uh, konting pahinga naman ito si Kirk King. Si Kevin Ramas ang ipinasok ni Coach Tim Cohn with the final seconds of the third. They are down by seven. Wala pa sa penalty ang Alaska. That's only the second team foul para sa Alaska Milk. So, walang delikado kay uh, Kevin Ramas. No? He can foul again. And they look for Kirk, uh, for uh, Carlos Strong here again. Pwede pa silang kumaw. Amasan lumabas. Takes a long one off the glass. Patrick Ram was a foul before the shot. With point seven of a second remaining. Pagkat na yan ito ang aliado. Ito na yung tinasabi natin catch and shoot situation, ano? Anyone who takes it must catch, shoot, uy! And short. Ito, hindi tinawakin. This is a backdoor play. What a play! What a play! To start this fourth quarter. 19 in the game para kay Rodney Santos. He's 9 out of 10 from the field. Only one miss today. At alam ni Coach Tim Cohn, mainit ito si Rodney Santos. That's why he set up that first play para kay Rodney Santos. Yung uh, 
backdoor play na yun, with a back pick, ano? Ali Hoop shot. Oh, oh. Well, Santos had 20 points back in his last game against Ginebra. Shot 50% from the field, 9 out of 18. Makikita mo ito si Rodney Santos, talagang parang nakatutok na sa kanya ngayon ng opensa. He's no longer just a second option. He's not first option na si Santos, eh, no? Can you imagine, you know, Santos at saka Kenneth Lurendez naging threat na... makes a whole lot of a difference for a basketball player. Here's Santos again. Takes the shot again and gets it again. Alam mo yung tinatawag natin, ano, na natutunan ng mga players ngayon. Inside shot, yes! Arnold Strong. Siya ang bumubuhat dito sa Mobile Lines, the fourth quarter, 23 in the game, all the four points. Wala kay Carlos Strong, lead is still at seven. Rodney Santos is 10 out of 11 from the field and he's asking for the ball. They move it around, Hawkins takes the shot, no. Strong gets the rebound. Pitong puntos lang ito, very manageable lead pa ito para sa Mobile Lines at may possession sila ngayon. Chance to cut this to five, ano? pinakamalapit in a long time kung sakali. Kevin Ramas will be called for this one right now. Let's take it over to Anthony Suntayan and report to Jerome Hersito. Anthony? Maraming salamat, Nolly. The report we got from the Mobiline trainer is that it's only a mild sprain, but unfortunately for a mild sprain, medyo masakit talaga pag natapakan, tinatapakan ni Jerome Hersito. So, so far, ang sabi nila, he just might not be able to make it back. Nolly? Well, that's certainly bad news, Anthony, para sa Mobiline phone files, although si Jerome Hersito, parang sinusubukan niyang gumalaw with one leg that sprained ankle right there here's Ravenna missing that one Patrick Run off the tap and the lead is down to five 73 68 now we have a game oh yes and the head shield leader of Mobiline Sigido Babylonia <laughs> up on his feet Dorentes takes the shot Malakas rebound is strong pero mutik na magawan the ball is tapped by strong na punta kik Donaliado Strong asking for a foul. Dorentes, her king, binomba pa sa ere, and Jericho Dinera will pick up the foul. The whole mobile line bench up on their feet. Ang feeling nila may foul dun kay Carlos Strong eh. Oo, oh, merong mga contact doon, no? pero hindi mo na rin alam kung sino dapat ang may foul doon eh. No? Pwedeng si Bong Hawking, pwede rin si Carlos Strong, but the referees let it go, no? so para fair lang. At si Kirk King ang nasa linya. Medyo nasusubukan na sila ngayon. Missing that first free throw. And now the coach Tim Cohen will take this opportunity to rest his starters. The hole is back in the game. Duremba sits down. Hawkins also sitting down. Abariantos checking in. Ipinahinga ni coach Tim Cohen si Kenneth Duremba dahil kasunod-sunod yung mga mintis ni Kenneth. No, ta Siguro papalasahin lang yan. Ibabalik din yan sigurado mamaya. Goes the reverse. Oh! And one! Giddy up! Sabi ni Carlos Strong, sumakay ka pa. What a move! Ito, may end one pa to si Carlos Strong. And uh, yung kanyang offense medyo tumamlay pagdating nung, second quarter, nung third quarter. No? Pero dito, maganda umpisa niya para dito sa fourth quarter. Ano to? Iha! Ay, Ay up! And he goes the reverse on our PLDT IDD slow-mo replay up to 75% off. Pwedeng i-play by play ang kwento sa mga kamag-anak abroad. And the numbers today for Carlos Strong make that 26 now and 12. Nine minutes remaining. Just a three-point lead para sa Alaska. Ang ganda ng balik dito ng uh, Mobiline at uh, sila naman ngayon na po repress. And putting the pressure on Alaska. Dito masusubukan. Muli ang poise and composure, although we still have a long ways to go here. Abariantos. Kirk King in a foul by Ravenna with four seconds of shot clock na lamang. And Brian Gahol, instant offense off the bench. 76-71. Maganda nilalaro talaga ng off the bench player si Coach Simpson. Totoo yan. Nag-umpisa kay Rodney Santos. Ngayon naman si Brian Gahol. 
siguro mabibilang natin ang uh, off the bench points dito ng Alaska eh kung si Rocky Santos lamang 21 na ibinubuhos nito lusot si Camaso inilabas si Patrick Rani is with deadly from the outside although Vinci Sedon Carlos Strong goes up yes what a quarter he's having 28-9 already in the fourth and we're still early here in the final period and you have to give some of the credit to Jericho Dinera who got the offensive rebound and the assist to, no, to Carlos Strong nagtutulungan na three point ball game Kirk King Inirati Strong Kumalog rebound in Avena Maalat ang opensa ng Alaska rito. They're not getting their shots in. And this is the chance for Mobileye now. Pwede nilang gawin isang puntos na lang. Oh! Inaagaw ni Rodney Santos. Quick hand. He's away! 23 in the game for the flasher. 11 of 12 from the field. What a game! Tamaso sa fly. Nagpadali si Tamaso doon. Nagpadali si Tamaso. Marami pa sana pwedeng gawin sa play na yun. Pero alam mo, talagang hindi ko ma-imagine itong laro ni Rodney Santos. He has only missed one shot today. Amarientos from the side. What a big shot. Sa ibabaw ng dalawa yun. Ha? Dalawa yung nakatao sa kanya, pero pasok pa rin. They restore... They've been here so many times before in this kind of a situation. Wala yung tira ni Strong. And Louis, a last major score of time out here, Yang. Yes, pagkakalaban mo, Alaska, that's gonna be your problem. They know how to make the big basket. Oh! oh. The big basket na pinatawag natin. Yung Hindi sila nagpapanik, eh, no? Yes. And right now, ang boss dito sa laban na to, itong si Rodney Santos. Siya ang among-amo, Yang, 23 points for the slasher. He has only missed one shot so far. At kung si Tiger Woods yan, runaway victory na sa British Open. Oo, oh, 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 hindi pa naman. Ah, hindi pa, oh, hindi pa. No? Magpuyat kayo muna <laughs> para mapanood ninyo. <laughs> Pero wala yung tira niya, Barrientos. King gets the rebound and it's gonna be a foul. Lamad si Carlos Strong. That'll be number four now on Strong. Ito si Jerome Mejercito. Ginamit na rin ni Coach uh, Louis Alas. Kanina ang report sa atin, maaaring hindi na gamitin. Ano? Pero in a situation like this, eh, talagang uh, you need all the help you can get. Iginambol ni Coach Louie ito si Jerome. At pinagsabay na naman niya si Patrick Fran at saka si Jerome Ehr. Si Tom Fran has been playing well, ha? Uy! Uy, nako! Ang ganda-ganda ng laro ni Rodney Santos. Yung nag-iisa siya, biglang nawala yung bola. Ay, tao pa rin naman yan. Oo, oh, sa bagay. Sapagat ako yung tao lamang. Yan ang, uh, tamo ha? Uy, wag lang ganun. Yan ang blooper. Oo, blooper yan. Rodney Santos, strong is blocked. Dalawang sumapal doon. Isang kigahol, isang kihwinyo. May tawag na foul. May foul. Edward Winyo will be called for this one. Number three on Winyo. And that'll send Strong back to the line. Let's watch it again. Ayan, tumama yung uh, kamay ni Pots Winyo sa ulo ni Carlos Strong. Nawagan ng foul. Native of Athens, Georgia. Paglaro to sa NBA for the Charlotte Hornets and the Dallas Mavericks. And of course, last time uh, naglaro siya ng big time league was in the, with the Idaho Stampede to CBA. Carlos Strong. Very solid player itong si Carlos Strong. No? Provides you with about 30 points. Ayan, so far, meron na siyang 12 rebounds. And go to guy siya. No? Pagka binigyan mo ng bola, he knows what to do with it. Lead is again, top oh. number five, look at the hole. Oh, yeah. 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 Off the bench yeah. players of Alaska, continuing their good game tonight. We talk about bench scoring, Nito Yang, 31 points ng Alaska Milk, Mobiline with 16, and of course, out of that 31, 23 nagmula kay uh, Rodney Santos, 6 nagmula kay Brian Gahol. Alex Lovely. Strong, freaking, going up, drawing the foul from Kirk King. And Kirk King will pick up his second foul. Talagang na, na preserve ni Tim Cohn si Kirk King from those crippling fouls, ha, Yang? Oh, ngayon ang ginagawa niya, humihelp na lang siya. No? He doesn't play, uh, he doesn't play uh, si Carlos Strong, but what he does is he leaves his man to help on Carlos Strong. And Strong will be back on the line. Masusubukan na naman siya. Wow. As we take a look at Louis Alas and Arik Del Rosario, being in a clarification, Hawkins checks back in. 
as we enter the well the winning stretch dito yung 5 and 28 remaining ito na yung panahon kung saan uhugutin mo na yung mga starters mo ibabalik mo na sa laro at yan na yung uh, panahon na uh, you're hoping that they can just parang uh, pour it on yes ang uh, tawag dito winning time winning so, time it is winning time so Remis, of course however is still sitting on the bench they go down low Kurt King na double team Amariento they swing it around Hawkins with the open man may see Ryan Jan and this time wala rebound ni Pablo <laughs> Minasiwas pa ni Big Pablo <laughs> sa harap ng kaibigan niya. Wrong. Nako. Loses the leather again. Another turnover. Maybe a costly one. Amarientos. Sabi ni Hawkins and there's a foul by Victor Pablo. That's going to be a very costly turnover. Especially kung magagawa ni Ponsuinho itong uh, dalawa niyang foul shot dito. Pangapat na foul niya ni Victor Pablo. And Guinho will go to the line. 13 foul naman ng Alaska Milk. So hanggang ngayon, Mobiline still crippled by those uh, turnovers. Ano? So, walang uh, walang uh, pressure. Tinatawag natin unforced error yun yung kanina. Okay, stay strong. Stay strong. Tim Cohn signaling a timeout here. Pero naitikin na yung bola. Guinho, fifth overall pick back in 1994 and the most improved player in 1996. Sablay yung kanyang pangalawa. Ang bola, tinapik niya Abariados, lalabas. Tuloy-tuloy Hawkins. Hindi niya ito, muwi ni Danny. The intensity ng player yan. Lumosobra at over the bench na tinalundo ni Danny Abariados. Kung pag-uusapan mo yung tindi ng pagsasamahan ng Alaska, hindi lamang yan sa court. Pati sa off the court, yung kanila oh, yes. mga misis, one of the strongest bonds. Mangkada, no? Talaga. Every game, nandiyan yan. Oo, oh, yan. Mga nagsusumbuhin na dyan pa yan. <laughs> Maganda yun, ha? Paul Kijania Barrientos kanina, pang-apat na rin. On the flying A. Four and... Again, we're happy to have you with us, Philippines. Sa Araneta Coliseum. Maliella together with Yang Gao. Carlos Strong takes the shot. Go! Oh, well, it could have been better siguro kung si Strong ay inattack niya yung gitna no, instead of just taking that step back jump shot. Oo. Oh, ito. Talk about attack eh. Inattack siya pero natapik. Hawkins. Tayo pang oras sa kanilang shot clock. 11 to be exact. Game clock reads 4.03. Kurt King from the outside. Kumalog. From both sides, wala tayo masyado nakikitang perimeter shooting. Ano? At uh, karamihan, mga inside points. Both teams uh, from the perimeter, masama. Ang nalalabing oras, ito pa sa ating laban, 3.54. At ang uh, upunan ng Alaska, umaabante pa rin dito ng 6 na puntos, 83 to 77. Kenneth Durandes, only 8 points today, 30% shooting from the field. Pero hindi masyado malaking factor because of the performance of uh, Rodney Santos. Ano? Oh, yeah. Parang uh, napunuan eh, no? Oo. Ganyan naman dapat ano, sa isang team, ano? Kung minsan hindi nagpe-perform yung isa, yung iba kailangan mag-step up. And today, a lot of people have stepped up. Although Aparientes' numbers in fouls have also stepped up. Five fouls na ngayon. Para kay Johnny A. Talking about stepping up. Santos with 23. Of course, sabi pag usapan natin si Cajol, six points off the bench. But this man here is carrying the load. He has a total of 33, 14 in the fourth. And out of the 16 points, dito sa fourth quarter, 14, Carlos Strong. Ayun, at uh, nag-pacing lang pala ito nung third quarter. Ano, hinahanapan natin ang punto sa third. So this only four points. But he was preparing himself for the last quarter dito. At ang lamang ng Alaska, apat na lamang, 83 to 79. It has been Carlos Strong and Rodney Santos in this game. The big hero so far. Here's Rodney. <laughs> He takes the shot. Yun, that time, that depends on Kenny Patrick Plan. That's only his second miss today. 11 out of 13. Pinutukan na lang gusto yung tira yun ni Rodney Santos. Medyo pilit din eh, no? Oo. And in the end game, it's all about making the stop. Yung field goal percentage mo, sa dulo, o sa pasimula, will no longer count kung matatalo ka at magmimintis ka sa dulo. Tama. Sinasabi ko rin sa team ko yun, ano? If it's a close end game, what will decide is if you make the stop. It's not really the offense, although of course that will help. 
But whoever makes the most stops will win the game. And right now, the stops of Alaska have always gone to the line. Puro foul. At si Ravena ngayon ang susubukan mula sa linya. There's Tim Cohn. As Bong Ravena fast and south is pair of free throws. What an interesting story as well. He makes his first free throw. Ravenna was the original pick of San Miguel back in 92. Rookie of the year that year. Suffered a sprain in 94. Traded for the Purefoods for Kevin Ramas, who's now playing for Alaska. And of course, then went to the NBA, and now Balik sa PBA, and he flips his free throws, and the lead is down to three. At tangan pa rin ng mobile ng bola. Talo sa size kasi rito yung Alaska. Malalaki ang mga mobile line. Ayun. Nakuha na sila ng offensive rebound. Kung titignan mo yung lineup ng Alaska, tap na yung maliliit dito. No? At hindi nakapasok si Poch Nino. It's a quick lineup, pero kulang sa rebounding. And now, right in here, two games. The best record so far for Alas. And the sign of the cross. He's asking for everyone's help here, including the heavens. They're down by one. Outside ng Alaska rito sa lineup na to. Let's see if this works for them. Oh, that's a foul by Jerry Cotillera. Nasa penalty ng mobile line that will send Hawkins to the line. Third foul para sa defense minister. And Coach Steve Cohn will not risk itong kanyang uh, lineup ngayon. Ano? Magdadagdag siya ng height dito. Ipapasok si Coach Suino. Kanina nakuna sila na very important na offensive rebound. Then itong mobile line. Yes. He's the first. He's an 80% free throw shooter. Alaska, as a team, is shooting only 69% from the line. Inilabas na ni Coach Tim Cohn si Rodney Santos. And this is the end game. You know, he feels that Rodney has contributed you know, all that he can for this team. And now he's, uh, he's uh, playing with his uh, best five. solid team. You know, yung kanyang, uh, best five. And then he's starting unit. Niya. Lamang ng tatlo ang Alaska Milk after those free throws ni Hawkins. Walang kukurap. Here's Carlos Strong, two and a half remaining. They kick it out, Ravenna faking a three, coming closer, go, offline, loose ball, natapin sa kutakin, kurendes. Tangan na ni Ravenna yung bola, natapik pa ni Hawkins. Oo nga, that could have been another offensive rebound for them, pero buti na lang natapik. Wala! Rebound ni Hawkins! Well, the big lineup pays off for Alaska. Sila naman ngayon ang nakakuha ng rebound. Very important. Pangatlong rebound lamang ni Hawkins yan. But what a big offensive rebound. Only his first offensive rebound for the night. Fred King is down. He's on the floor. Sumira si Torrentes. Yes! What a shot! Alam mo, si Kirk King, eh, hindi nagmadali, no? Napag-alis doon sa shaded area, mabuti na lang at hindi nahabol ng 3-second call. Nakita naman ni Durendes, kaya naman niya Tinira kagad. niya kagad. Oo, oh, binitawan yung bola, eh. And now Ravenna will call a timeout here. Hindi tayo dito Durendes kanina, no? He didn't have a really good night tonight, ano? Hindi. Pero pagkadating sa crunch time, eh, yung mga ganun desisyon, kamukha nung ginawa niya, take As is Carlos Strong tripping. That may foul. That will be a hip foul against Kirk uh, King. Number, two, number three, three lamang yan. Okay, Kirk King, but they are in the penalty, so that will send Strong back to the line. Now, this is not yet a one game. Yang malayo pa. Ni pa. Five points lang yan with the possibility of uh, cutting it down to three. Yes. And the chess match continues from the bench. Two grand masters at the helm. Carlos Strong. Strong numbers. And he still continues to shoot well from the line. 35 today for Carlos Strong. His PBA career high is 36. So malapit na malapit na siya dyan. Malapit na malapit na. At uh, pwedeng magkaroon siya ng bagong career high ngayong gabing ito. Oh. Yes. 36. Matches his career high. But that will all go down the drain if they should lose this one. They're down by three. Abarietos takes a quick shot off the glass. Voila! Rebound picked up by Kirk King. 
Again, another offensive rebound. Ano? When you make the stop, you should complete it ano? oh. by getting the rebound. At hindi nangyayari yun para sa mobile line. Oh, oh. steal! Patrick Rand, 2 on 1. Ravenna, quickly the defense is there. Pablo has a low block. Turns around, takes the shot. Tough shot, Parake. Pablo, Patrick Rand. Battling for the rebound, Lapa the third king and winning out. What a job, Parake Patrick Franz. And he calls the timeout. If he gave the ref to Kanya, he was in trouble and he was able to call that timeout, which is a smart move. Here, here's a guy in a very, you know, unsung, uh, hindi masyado napapansin, but Patrick Franz always showing the heart here. And look at that, battling Kirk King, going down, using his head, calling the timeout. Ayun. Uh, that's uh, what you call thinking on your feet. Oh, no, wala, wala, wala sa feet. Thinking on your stomach. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and saving the day for your team, maybe. They're down by three here. And this 20 second timeout is brought to you by Stanley Glide. Hindi pa to oras yun para sa three point shot with 51 seconds. Obviously, you want to put up some pressure to sa kalaban mo at this point kung ikaw ang mobile line. Oh, marami pang possessions ito eh. Maka mga three to four possessions pa ito. So you don't need a three-point shot dito. But if you'll have a clear uh, attempt, then you should take it. But if not, you can go for a two-pointer. Si Patrick Fran has had three PLDT long-distance shots here today. So that's an option at least for him. They go down low. Carlos Strong. Laban ki Bong Hawkins. Trying to push his way closer and Hawkins will be whistled for the foul. Double team. I, I was expecting a double team, lalo na si Bong Hawkins ang tumatao kay Strong, ano? At hindi tumating, that's why Bong had, had to foul him. He has 17 points in the fourth quarter, a total of 36. At dalawa pa lamang ang mintis niya from the line, but these are pressure-packed free throws. Nako! Sabi mo kasi, pressure-packed. Narinig ka yata. Narinig ako ng bola. And look at Louie Alas. And uh, we were saying this could be the, the, the ano, no, yung kanyang uh, career high if he makes this a foul shot at 37 points. His second, yes. Nothing but the bottom of the net. Shaking his head there. How could I have missed that one? But the lead is down to two. 38 seconds to go. Isolated. Johnny turns around. The defense was there. Oh, what a, what a, a shot. shot. What a shot. Woo. Boy, grab it. Johnny Abarientos. Johnny Abarientos, the pride of Naga. Si Johnny Abarientos, hindi lamang kilala sa kanyang offense, pero at kilala rin siya sa defense niya. But in this particular play, parang hinamak niya ang defense ni Patrick Fran, tinirahan sa ibabaw. And the 1990 MVP has given Alaska a four-point lead. Boy, yung impact ng mga puntos. Maaaring madoble yung uh, epekto ni Johnny Abarientos dito sa kopunan na to. Yes, at uh, hindi naman exceptional, ano? exceptional night for Johnny Abarientos. But uh, you always know you can count on him. You want the ball in his hand in a tight situation. And you look at the last three plays ng Alaska Yang. They've gone to Duremde saving them with a basket. Hawkins with a pair of free throws. And then Johnny Abarientos. Tatlong veterano ni Coach Tim Cohn. Rodney Santos has been a top scorer here. But in the end, yung pa rin ang inaasahan ni Tim Cohn. Well, that's why Alaska is Alaska. Eh. Sinasabi Why natin, no? Alaska, you have guys like them taking the care of the crisis situation. You know? At kaya naman ang sinasabi sa PBA, eh, kailangan masubukan ka ng Alaska bago ka maging uh, title contender. Uh -huh. But this game is not yet over. Just a four-point lead. Carlos Strong, strong to the basket, missing that one. It rolled out. Inilunga pa. Asok na. Well, that's uh, what I was telling you about. It's about making the stop. Stop of this ball game. Ayun, mukhang assured na sila rito. Pero meron pa tayong 12.5 seconds. Ito nangyari dito, Yeng. Dalawa-dalawa ang tumawa. Tatlo pa nga yan. And that changed the shot of Carlos Strong. Just rolled out. And instead of a birdie, it just may be a double bogey here. Para sa <laughs> tupo na ng mobile line. Ayun, pasok na kay Johnny. So, parang ano na yan, ano? insurance basket na. Red Boy Teng Su, very satisfied at the moment. He sees a five-point lead and maybe another victory here. As we said, they have not lost back-to-back -back games in five months and that record might just be preserved tonight. Six-point lead, 12 and a half seconds remaining. And Alaska will uh, again inch uh, its way into the top four standing to let. Yes.
Field easy long distance of line, a pick. Papo Punta is strong with two seconds to go. Naagawa pa ni Abarientos and that'll do it here. A big win for Alaska Milk, bouncing back from that one-point loss. Laban sa Hinebra. And Tim Cohn climbs.